you're looking at a fabulous layout because a big festival is coming to town. And you know, if it's a weekend in the fall, you know there's always a festival somewhere here in the Houston area. And this weekend, you'll find Turkish food, music, art, a lot more at the Turkic Fest in downtown Houston. Right now, I'm with Mehmet Okumush of the Raindrop Turkish House. Good morning, and thanks for being here. Thank you, sir. Okay, tell me about all of this you have here, and all of this is going to be at the festival this weekend? Yes, sir. This is our third year. Uh, it's called uh, Turkic Cultures and Children Festival. Uh -huh. It's going to be in Houston, uh, in front of the Houston City Hall. And we're highlighting uh, many different nations, like the Turkic countries, uh, Turkey, Turkmenistan, uh, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan. And also we'll have some guest countries like Albania, Bosnia, uh, Greece, and Pakistan. Now, you said Azerbaijan, and I think the children who are playing music right now are from that country? Yes, sir. We brought two students from Azerbaijan, uh -huh. and they participated in Turkish Olympiad in Turkey this year. Uh -huh. And they are here with us, and they will be performing uh, in there. And uh, our highlights will be, uh, like, the food is going to be delicious. Yes, and this food really does look fabulous over here. Plus, you have a lot of artistic objects done by artisans, and you have someone yes, sir. really doing some intricate work. First, someone doing pottery, and then someone actually painting? That is correct. It's going to be, uh, I mean, it's going to be art festival as well, and we brought uh, professional artists from Turkey, and two of them are with us right now, and Murat uh, is going to be doing uh, the gilding uh, tile, and then uh, Yasemin will be painting it. And also, you will see the demonstrations there. And the other thing is, you're going to able to come in, uh, you know, purchase the stuff that you have seen there. Uh, and, and you do have a lot of things. In fact, when you look at some of these dolls and these figurines, they are so intricately made, um, table settings, and then you have duplicates or miniature duplicates of what look like castles. Right, it's going to be like a, a mosque, uh, Hagia Sophia, and the Sultan Ahmed, uh, we call it Blue Mosque. And, uh, and also this is going to be a very educational uh, festival, it's going to be a country represent presentations. So I'm going to you know, ask all the social studies teachers and art <laughs> teachers to bring all their kids to the festival and they can learn a lot about uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the cultures. So you're turning fun into education that is, at the same time, that is correct. exposing the children in our area to something that they probably would not be exposed to. Definitely, sir. And it's going to be a f a fun for all family, actually. Uh, it's going to be in this weekend. And we hope that, uh, you know, we all know that Houston is an international city and hope that uh, our festival is going to contribute a lot to our richness of uh, society. Oh, yes. The Turkic Festival fits right into what Houston is all about. Very diverse. And now we're going to let you know that the Turkic Festival takes place this Saturday and Sunday at Herman Square. That's right in front of Houston City Hall. Five dollars for adults, very affordable. And children under the age of 12 are admitted for free. Mehmet Okomush, thank you so very much and the best of luck with this weekend's festival. Thank you. Appreciate it for the opportunity, sir. Thank you so much for bringing all of this in and also our guests here to the side. We're going to get to them in just a moment. Um, this is such an exciting time and what a wonderful festival you have planned. Thank you, Courtney, for allowing us to come and you know, introduce our uh, rich heritage to the Houstonians, also the Texans. We appreciate that. And the community, uh, Turkish community, is quite large here in Houston, isn't it? It's around uh, 10,000 people that we're uh, guessing. Uh, and also, this is not only the Turkish festival. We call this as the Turkic festival. So we're going to be hosting uh, seven uh, countries, uh, the Turkic countries. And also this year we're going to be uh, we're going to have the guest countries like Pakistan mm -hmm. and and the Greece. And I I know that you're from <laughs> yes, yes, I'm I'm Greek exactly. Um, well, this is so exciting. When we think of festivals, first and foremost, we think of the food. So talk to us about this wonderful display. These are some of the items that you're going to have out right. there. Uh, Courtney, actually, uh, this festival is unique itself, I guess, because. Uh, it's it's it's a it's it's a food festival mm -hmm. number one. You can see a lot of delicious Turkish food, and when we uh, take the people to Turkey, 
uh, to visit, the first thing, uh, their impression is the food is great. So uh, we are hoping that the visitors are going to enjoy these delicious food. And I can uh, go ahead and tell a little bit about uh, these food. First of all, sure, let me take this. Mm, this is called baklava. This mm -hmm. is dessert. Okay, if uh, they can uh, see Get a little it. shot here. There it's we go. Right we'll here. probably go uh, that way. There you go. Fabulous. Dessert, one of my favorites. Uh, and also, the, uh, we have the Greek one, too. Yes, <laughs> but they're both very, very good. And we will have, like, a pastry here. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this one called? Uh, this is called burek. So okay. inside is cheese. Wonderful. That looks and so good. We um, have uh, the sarma here, which I would like to show. This is a traditional front? one in the front. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is called sarma, and inside is uh, great le uh, leaves and uh, the rice inside. Uh, and again, uh, other thing that I would like to mention about uh, the festival is it's going to be uh, an art festival too. Okay. Because I am inviting, we are inviting from Turkey, like the uh, artists in uh, professionals, the ceramic art and calligraphy oh, that's beautiful. and the clay and Ebro water marbling. So, uh, I mean, the other thing is, it's not only seeing them, also, you know, they are going to do the workshop there. Exactly. Like, uh, and there's also going to be coffee houses, which of course you have to go have some Turkish coffee when you're there and all kinds of different events uh, for the entire family. There's an array of information uh, on the website. The uh, festival is coming up. Of course, you're going to see the traditional wear as well. The festival is coming up next weekend at Herman Square in downtown Houston going on from 1 p.m. until 10 p.m. Go on out and have yourself a wonderful time. Go on an empty stomach too because you want to eat and enjoy <laughs> everything. Mehmet, thanks so much for coming You're in. It was welcome. a pleasure meeting you, and I, thank you so much. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. allowing us, and I also bring uh, some of our uh, I know, kids some of the here. kids there. It's, they look fabulous uh, in their traditional outfits. So and we'll we will have the folk dances there, too, Turkish folk dances. Wonderful. Well, thanks, kids. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Mehmet, thank again. You so we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Germany to Turkey. The Turkic Fest takes place in front of Houston City Hall Saturday and Sunday from 12 noon until 9 p.m. They say if you've never seen the sights and sounds of Turkey, this is your chance. We brought the summer to part of the world right here in front of the City Hall in the heart of Houston. So uh, we encourage people to come out here and see, taste the food, and uh, have fun. We were expecting around 30,000 or 40,000 people. So it's a big festival. It's going to be a big festival. Right now we have 150 booths set up. Tickets for the Turkic Cultures and Children's Festival are $5. Kids under 7 get in free. Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'ndeki Houston şehrinde yapılan Türk Festivali 25 binden fazla Türk dostunu bir araya getirdi. <gülüyor> Teksas'taki festivale bu yıl Türkiye Cumhuriyeti Houston Başkonsolosu Akil Öklem, Bölge Vali Yardımcısı Ed Emmett ve Houston'un First Lady'si Andrea White gibi önemli isimler de katıldı. Okay, <gülüyor> Bölge Vali Yardımcısı Ed Emmett, Festivalin Houston'ın en önemli olaylarından biri haline geldiğini ifade ederek gelecekte daha büyük bir festival alanı bulunması gerektiğini ekledi. Festival yalnızca Türk kökenliler için değil, Houston ve çevre şehirlerde yaşayan herkese hitap ediyor. İşte bu sebeplerden dolayı hava mükemmel. Gördünüz mü? Her şey bu yıl festivalle işbirliği içinde. Houston Belediye Başkanı'nın eşi Andrea White ise harikulade diye nitelendirdiği festivalin 3 yıl önce olmadığına inanmanın güç olduğunu dile getirdi. Topluma ulaşmada yakaladıkları başarı, her ay onca önemli konuşmacıya ağırlamaları muhteşem. Türkler toplum olarak Houston şehrinin bir parçası olabilmek için çok çalışıyorlar. Çok minnettarım onlara. Hem çocuklara hem de yetişkinlere hitap eden festivalde gölge oyunları, kuklalar, atlı karıncalar çocukları eğlendirirken Türk kıraathanesi, mevlevi ve sufi müziği, halk oyunları gibi etkinliklerle yetişkinler de benzersiz bir hafta sonu geçirdi.